It is day 24 of our 30 days of watercolor and today we're going to try this cute little French villa and I chose this photo um, because it's looking straight onto the building and I knew I wouldn't have to work too hard on creating angles or dimension. Um, so we're just starting off with the roof and then we're going to add in a bunch of windows and shutters. In, my, in the photo I was looking at there was actually three levels. Um, I started with this top level and then went down to the bottom and I kind of forgot to add in a middle level of windows and shutters but I think it still came out um, looking pretty good so I just left it how it was and that's just kind of how painting goes sometimes. Um, your artwork will kind of create itself as you go. Okay so starting off with just a really light um, brownish gray. This color is called burnt umber. Um, and I washed my paper with water first so that it just spreads on really thin and easy. You can see I added some brick lines just on the right hand side um, because I want it to look really faded and old so we're just doing one side there. Now right here we're going to add some branches of a tree that are hanging over in the foreground um, and we'll add in lots of foliage so it kind of looks like um, it's in front of the building here and I'm just using my brush to kind of um, dot the leaves on and I'm letting the side of my brush um, hit the paper so they're kind of like little ovally leaf shapes that I'm dotting on to the branches and then for this next part um, probably the most fun I'm grabbing a little bit of pink and there was this climbing flower all over the um, building so I'm just gonna dot it on like it's climbing all over around the windows around the balconies around the doors we're gonna add in some green as well and as I start to add in the green um, you'll see I'll make a few little lines where it looks like the leaves are trailing down We're going to come back in for a few more details on the building. I'm going to darken up these brick lines here. And now for these shutters, I'm just going with this really light kind of periwinkle bluish purple. Then we are grabbing a gray brush pen to start adding details to the windows. So I'm shading in the window panes. And then I'm going to add a lot of lines to the shutters and around the door, just kind of making everything pop out and giving it um, some more detail. Over here, I decided to add a little um, lamp. So I'm using a drawing pen to kind of draw it out. And then I will go ahead and thicken it up with a black watercolor brush pen in just a minute. We are just about there for this painting. I am going to come back in for a few more details on the doors and windows. I'm going to add in the lines for the shutters. Um, and my very last step is to grab my black drawing pen and darken up a few of the lines. Especially on um, the top windows, there's some little iron gates. And I used my um, drawing pen to draw in some uh, fun designs on the gates. They're not very accurate, but... I think they still kind of give the essence of what they're supposed to be and I thought I filmed that last portion I didn't so instead I will just show you a close-up of the final look um, but yes this was a really fun fast painting it only took me about 20 minutes and I love the color palette here and in the end um, it definitely makes me want to travel back to France thank you so much for following along again um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love for you to paint along with me and you can find a beginning watercolor tutorial in my craft club at my website. All the information for that will be linked in the description.